With over 117 local sewage spills reported after Hurricane Sally, the Department of Environmental Protection said 58 of those were in Okaloosa County alone. Mark Wise, the Deputy Director of Okaloosa County Water and Sewer, says the city works overtime to prevent the leaks, but the conditions grew out of their control. There was so much flooding going on. There was, there was 22 inches of rain and prolonged power outages that a, a sewer system like that I just described is not, is not capable of handling a prolonged power outage at the same time of 22 inches of rain in, in a 24-hour period. The purpose of the lift station is to keep sewage flowing from one station to the next. And so eventually it goes to a wastewater plant. We've got 2.8 billion gallons annually go through our three treatment plants. Wise says in Fort Walton, that adds up to 500 miles of piping, 4,000 manholes, and 3,000 customers. The Clifford lift station in Fort Walton had a major malfunction during the storm. As the flood water was going down and the groundwater was going down, um, the, the top of the pipe collapsed uh, just out here behind me. And we had crews working after they were already exhausted from the storm. They worked through the entire day and the entire night uh, and got it repaired. Wise says reporting these types of spills is never easy. We pride ourselves in being honest and straightforward and transparent uh, whenever we have spills. Out of the three spills that occurred at Clifford Lift Station, the bodies of water affected are now back to normal levels. The solution to pollution is dilution. <laughs> Wise is very proud of his staff who worked hours on end to make sure the spills were stopped sooner than later. In Okaloosa County, Jessica Ayers, News 13, Panhandle Strong.